What's up? My name's Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix an issue with Valorant that could be affecting you. This video is going to be very topical for today's date, but of course it may apply in the future in slightly different ways. Some people have been reporting that Valorant has bricked their PC after a new update. If we have a look at Valorant's Twitter over here, you can see on the 23rd of March 2021, they announced that they're aware that a recent Valorant update is causing some PC systems to freeze and some users are even reporting blue screens. We paused the update for those who haven't downloaded it yet. You should be okay until we find a fix. For those who updated, uninstalling or reinstalling Vanguard will put you on the old patch for now. And they followed up this tweet with another one saying it turns out an older version of the Faceit app and the latest Vanguard version were not playing nice. If you're still experiencing issues, please update your Faceit app. Now, this video may be a bit outdated when you're watching it, but it will still apply to you. This will happen more and more in the future as more and more anti-cheats become more and more invasive to try and stomp out cheaters. Now, of course, regardless of how good the anti-cheats are, having them on such a low level that they directly interact with your system can be very problematic to say the least. Anyways, regardless of all of that, what can we do to fix this? Well, first of all, we'll try and reinstall Vanguard and then we'll try update the Faceit app. Reinstalling Vanguard should install an older version of the anti-cheat, allowing us to play the game until they find a proper patch. And if you're having this issue in the future, this will probably apply to you too. If you're at a point in your computer booting up that you're not able to get into Windows at all, simply just restart your computer enough times, usually twice or so, when it shows you the Windows logo by holding down your power button or by pulling out the battery and the power cord. Eventually, you'll get a message about Windows trying to repair itself and it'll give you a bunch of options. What you need to do is enter safe mode so that we can boot up Windows without Vanguard or anything third party running in the background. Eventually, when you do get into Windows, how do we reinstall the Vanguard anti-cheat? Well, simply hit start, open the settings with the settings icon, and inside of here, head into apps, then wait for the list to populate and simply scroll down to R. Here we have Riot Vanguard. Simply click in it, then click uninstall and uninstall once again. When you get this pop-up over here, it'll say that it's going to completely remove Vanguard, click yes, and the uninstall will start. When it's eventually complete, you may be asked to reboot your PC, and if you are, do exactly that. If you boot it up into safe mode, when you reboot your PC, you should be put back into the normal version of Windows with all of the features in it. If not, you can now exit safe mode and head back to Windows normally. The next time that we try and fire up Valorant, you'll get this install screen over here where it simply installs Riot Vanguard, and then all you have to do is restart your PC for the installation to complete. At this point, do exactly that, and hopefully your PC shouldn't be experiencing any freezes or crashes again. This is more of a general fix if this issue affects you far in the future, possibly causing issues with another program. As said here on their Twitter, it was the Faceit app causing issues with Vanguard, or rather Vanguard causing issues with Faceit. So simply updating the Faceit app is all that's required to fix it. But in the future, it's probably a different anti-cheat app causing issues on your computer. Something I'd recommend you do is you fire up all of the different anti-cheat programs that you can think of that you've installed, such as Faceit or another client like that, and see if there's any updates available. Otherwise, uninstalling Riot Vanguard and reinstalling it should fix your issues. However, if you're still freezing and crashing, even when you're not trying to play the game, maybe it's a good idea just to uninstall Riot Vanguard for now, report an issue to Riot or Valorant's Twitter account, and wait for a fix. You shouldn't let a game get in between you and your other work on your computer, especially an anti-cheat as invasive as Vanguard. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!